I got a question about how to upload photos to a Tumblr blog. So I'm just going to go through that real quick. So when you're in your dashboard, go to your regular text, which is how you would post any of your assignments or post anything with text. Click on that. And it's changed a little bit in the last week. Uh, Tumblr's had an update, so we're recording this in January of 2015. And this is the difference. So to post your actual text, you just type here, type whatever text you want to type, or paste, which I hope you're doing from Word, so you have better spell check, put your title there. Then when you're done with all that, go to this plus button right here. Click on that. Right there is an option for insert a photo. Click on that and find an image. There's an image. Choose it. There it is. Click on the X to make it go away. Or the hand will also let you move it around. If you have other text here, you could have actually move it up or down. And if you needed to add video, click on that again. Click on that guy. And if you have an embed code, say from YouTube or somebody's website, you would paste the URL or the embed code there and then you'd be all set. If you don't have the image itself, then I would suggest linking to the image. So you can just put an image here, or a link here. Let's say, and when you highlight it, you can actually click on this kind of like backwards eight, make the link. Done, and now, that's a clickable link. And that's how you add a link. But basically, this little box follows you wherever you go. So even if you start to type something, you can click on it. Highlight it. Once you highlight it, you can make it bold, italics, change the font up, all kinds of different things you can do here. And if you just hover your mouse over the stuff, you'll actually see some other options of things that you can do. So that is how you embed different things. And then up here, something to keep in mind, you can actually turn on your replies, other things you can do, text editor, HTML if you wanted to do this in code, which I'm doubting anybody would. Then click post and you're good to go. That's it.